The demo for Dragon Quest XI-S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition that's a long title, went live on the eShop yesterday, and foolishly Derek and I decided to livestream it thinking we'd play the entire thing. Well we did not, this is a very long demo, and according to Nintendo it takes around 10 hours to finish this thing. And that seems to be true as it finishes when you get the fourth party member. This is a very beefy demo, it's not like Sonic Forces where it ends after 30 seconds. This is basically the length of a full-fledged game, but why should you play it? Why is it worth your time? Well, that's what I'm here for today, so here are the 6 reasons you should play the Dragon Quest XI-S demo. Reason number 1. Your save file carries over to the main game. 10 hours is quite a big investment, especially for a temporary thing like a demo. But this of course isn't your typical taste of a game, it's a massive slice. The Dragon Quest XI-S demo is basically the first 10 hours of the game, and it starts off right at the beginning. The only limitations are you can't use the 2D mode, which is unfortunate, and you can't change the synthesized soundtrack, which… good. Otherwise, you're free to do what you want. You can explore as slowly as you want, do every side quest, and even grind to level 70 if you really want to. All of that progress will not go to waste when the game comes out, though of course if you do want to start over for whatever reason, you can do so from a different perspective in 2D mode. The game as a whole really respects your time. You can run, there aren't any random encounters, and... Reason number two, battles are way, way faster than before. The PS4 version gave you two battle speeds, normal and fast. And then the Switch came along and said no that will not do and introduced the ultra fast option. Just look how much quicker it is. You may not want to play the entire game like this, but it's bound to come in super handy if you have a tire of battles, or if you're someone who's played the game before and doesn't want to invest another 70 hours. It's funny how Dragon Quest XI on inferior hardware has features like this. And speaking of the hardware... Reason number 3. Check out how the game runs. This port's been a long time coming. It was the first game ever announced for NX, and for a long time, some people weren't convinced it would be the HD Unreal Engine 4 version, and instead be the simpler 3DS rendition. Not only is 11S built on the framework of the HD version, but they did a damn good job in doing so. Of course there are compromises like downgraded textures, the lighting not looking as sharp, and a drop in resolution, but the game still maintains its visual identity, and can look absolutely stunning because of it. Heck, on PS4 it was already 900p at 30fps. The fact that it looks this good is quite remarkable. Even handheld mode looks surprisingly good. It's definitely not native, but it looks a lot sharper than other sprawling RPGs like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But seriously, try it out for yourself. This game really pushes the Switch. Heck, the game pushes itself more than ever before. In previous versions, the Luminary was the only player on the field, but now your party members follow you in real time, and you can talk with them at any time. And performance-wise, the game holds up so well, the frame rate's really consistent, and the load times are so quick. Reason number 4? The new orchestrated soundtrack. Dragon Quest and its soundtrack have a long, controversial history, and this led to the PS4 version using MIDI arrangements, meaning it doesn't use actual instruments. So this stunning visual showcase wasn't given the audio treatment it deserved. It felt kinda cheap. The Switch version, though, makes every single track sound better than ever. Have a listen. We'll start off with how it sounds on PS4, and then switch over to the Switch. Sounds pretty good, right? But let's use a more dramatic example with heavy horns. Even with a visual setback, it's debatable that the Switch has a more impressive overall presentation. Reason number 5. Photo Mode Again, this is another case of the visually inferior version having surprising features. At any point during gameplay, you can press up on the D-pad and enter Photo Mode. You toggle party members on and off, blur the background, move the camera around, and strike poses. It is pretty limited with the zoom function, but I've already started spamming my Twitter with photos and videos. There are three poses to choose. There's the wave, thumbs up, and sob. And then, there's Hocus Pocus. This unleashes even more, though thankfully not kamikaze. And reason number 6, get a Smash Spirit. Look, Nintendo and Square really want you to play this game, 
they put Hero in Smash, they gave you a 10 hour demo, and if you have save data from the main game, or the demo, you'll get this spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So if you're a spirit completionist, you're gonna have to dive in. There are so many more reasons to play this demo, but most importantly, it's free. The Dragon Quest series really deserves its break in the West. It pioneered traditional turn-based RPGs, and while other series have moved away from such combat styles, Dragon Quest has always stuck to its roots while enveloping them in the standards and presentations of modern titles. So you guys have no excuse now. Play this game! It is so, so good. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on Dragon Quest XI S, and there will be a lot more, and other things gaming too. Until next time, bye.